Greetings, humans, I'm Retrobot, and you are not. Ha ha hee ho ho. Here I go. Oh. Ouch. Pull me out. Oh boy, Retrobot. It's closing time. Lights out. I'll pull you out tomorrow. Hey, wait. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Retro Ernest of Retro Electrotech. And what I'm doing here is a quick video for a viewer who requested some help with um, removing the housing here so that he can replace the uh, lamps. Okay, he has some burnt out lamps. And he suspected that it was fairly straightforward based on what he was looking at, but he didn't want to go about it until he got some advice and, you know, so he doesn't damage anything, which I can respect that. But as, um, as suspected, it is very uh, straightforward to replace the lamps on um, this uh, Samsui 771. That's what I'm working on. I'm recapping and a bunch of other things, going through some other, uh, working on some other issues and all that. So while I have this um, in the shop uh, being worked on, um, I'm going to go ahead and just real quick for the for the gentleman just show him what's involved in removing the uh, the lamp housing here. So again, as you suspected, it's fairly straightforward. These um, screws here, which I already removed here, okay, and over here, um, are the only two screws that hold this in. And uh, the only other trick, if you will, if you want to even call it a trick, is just more the angle of the dangle and um, just angling this housing so that you don't um, potentially damage components on the board or, you know, wiring or, or anything like that because you got all this wiring over here and you have all this wiring that, uh, of course, attaches to the back of the um, uh, circuit board here. And um, I'll get into that in just a moment. So once the screws are removed, then all you do is just give it a tilt, just tilt it back, the housing, okay? And once you got the, the housing tilted back, it should clear just about everything, okay? Just maneuver things carefully. And you don't want to pull too much because obviously you have uh, wires attached over here. But um, all you need to do though is just flip it over so you can gain access to the lamps here. And uh, one thing you may want to consider is that when you remove the lamps, and you could just remove these by hand, you know. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can use one of those fuse uh, pullers, but you don't have to. But anyways, um, these uh, lamp holders here, these clips, um, you just want to make sure that they're not overstretched. I've seen some that are overstretched in, in numerous uh, stereos that I've replaced lamps on. Sometimes these little clips will get a bit overstretched and will compromise the connectivity of the, uh, you know, the lamp and the, and the uh, connector here. So you'll just want to squeeze them carefully with your, with your fingers. You can just give them a little squeeze if, if you need to. If, it, if they're already tight, don't worry about it. And you can also get a uh, swab and some alcohol and clean the, uh, clean the contact surface as well. Just make sure everything's nice and clean before you, um, you know, snap your, your replacements in. And, and that's really about it. Um, what you see here, this lamp is for, that I'm pointing at right here is, is for the, uh, this is the multiplexer stereo indicator lamp. Okay. So if yours works, then just leave it be. Otherwise, if you're just needing to replace the, uh, the dial face, uh, lamps, then this is where they are. And then once you do that, um, same thing. It just drops right back in at the same angle that you removed it. Okay. And let me also to point out, you'll see, um, I think, yeah, you can see the shelf that I'm pointing at maybe, but there's, there's this main, uh, section of chassis here at the top that the, uh, that the, uh, dial indicator, uh, slides on right below that. There's that other little metal shelf that has the screw hole that holds this housing in place. So um, just make sure that the that the inside top portion here of this housing rests on top of rests on top of that shelf there, okay? 
And just be careful too, because you got that dial string running along the bottom. So that's why when you're angling this uh, to pull it out, just angle it carefully and pull it out. Just be gentle with it and you'll be good. And uh, with this housing sitting right back on that shelf, just line up the uh, screw holes, drop the screws back in, and you'll be good to go. If you need to replace the, um, the meter lamp, this is the meter housing right here, the plastic meter housing, and there's a couple screws down at the bottom here that you remove, and you can slide this uh, housing out of the way, and there's a, uh, a lamp. Uh, right, right behind this housing. If you need to replace that um, that lamp for the for the meter, so and that's about it. It's really straightforward. Um, I understand why you were, uh, you know, wanting to contact someone and ask them. Um, it's always good to to do that if if uh, somebody out there will give you the time of day, then that's great um, because you know you don't want to damage anything on the board or whatever the case. So that's about all. Um, I hope. Uh, Aside from the viewer that requested uh, this information, um, hopefully it'll help somebody else who might be curious about replacing uh, the lamps in their uh, Samsui 771. Other than that, guys, as I always say, uh, peace, love, music, and of course the vintage audio that brings it to our ears. Otherwise, guys, take care of yourselves. This is a poor man's shoe production.